Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumen channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Demitech Model D TN95. We purchased these from the actual manufacturer and here is their listing. They come in a box of 20 for $75, making them $3.75 each, which they are on the pricier side. They do have a 5 out of 5 rating with more than 2,000 reviews. So let's go ahead and take a look at these respirators. So I do want to point out that this respirator does have all the NASH requirements except for the lot number. It comes with the manufacturer, the model, the N95 and NIOSH stamp, as well as the TC approval number. These respirators are also made in the US. So if we look into the construction quality, these are a little bit on the rough side. They also have a nose foam. And let's take a look at the nose wire. This nose wire is a little flimsy. Okay, so this one broke. I am going to take a new respirator. And since these are a bifold style, I am going to be flattening out the nose wire. So these are a five layer respirator and I do feel like I am getting quite a bit of collapse. Like I said, the nose wire is not the best, so I am struggling for the nose wire to stay in its shape. This sort of material is not really my favorite. I'm not getting any le leakage other than a little bit here on the bridge of my nose. So with that being said, we're going to see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same testing machine that NIOSH chooses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot milk glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.87 with a pressure drop of 19.6 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.65 and a pressure drop of 18.8 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 99.85 and had a pressure drop of 18.2 millimeters of water. So overall, these tested very well in terms of filtration efficiency, with 99.6% being the lowest. The pressure drop was a little on the higher side than what we like to see. However, they do meet the claims as they sit on the box and they are within the N95 requirements. Both the quality and the comfort were very standard. When it comes to the fit, I did feel like I was getting a good fit on my face, but like I said, the nose wire was a little weak, so I wasn't really able to get a good seal on the nose portion of my face. And the last thing that I wanted to point out were the headbands. The bottom headband was irritating my skin a little bit, so it wasn't super comfortable, but like I said, they are within the N95 requirements, and if you are in between a small to medium fit, these could be a good fit for you. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful please let us know what mask we should test next or if you would like to send in a mask or respirator we're going to be leaving our address in the description box below along with our website which is acumet.com and our master testing data sheet please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in our next video